Size E in a hands on gotta try and moan. Air Max since I gotta take them home. Air Zoom Joe, I gotta take them home. Size E in a hands on gotta try and moan. No, I don't gotta try and moan. SB Joe, I gotta take them home. Nike trainers, I gotta take them home. I have to, I got to, I got to. Back in 92, uh, the Jordan 8, right here. I, I remember one of these. I remember seeing someone actually in a, I was in the playground, and um, I think he was a drug dealer or something. I know he had a lot of cash on him at the time when, he, when I seen the shoes. So after that, I, I ran back home to my grandmother's house at the time I was staying with her. I ran back home. I said, grandmother, I want some shoes. I know you've been asking me what kind of shoes I want. And I told her I wanted some Michael Jordans. Um, I got about 210, ranging from Jordans to Dunks. I got um, all variety of basketball shoes, a um, bunch of Deons, uh, Air Maxes. I just recently got into Air Maxes. Air Maxes is one of my favorites right now. So, Vans, just all different, man. I, I buy what I like. So, I, I got um, pretty much one through 23. Additional to that, I probably got around 80 to 90 pair of Jordans. I'm a huge Jordan fan, so I um, always have been, like I said, ever since second grade, man, I've been been watching basketball. I kind of faded out of that here recently. I got back into it the last past two seasons, but uh, yeah, man, I've uh, always been a basketball head, so. So I got the Scotty Pippins, of course, Anthony Hardaway's, of course, Dennis Rodman's. You remember them joints with the, uh, the strap across the front with the little zipper? I want those right now, but I uh, can't get my hands on them. But I'm just a huge basketball head, so I use a variety of different products. Um, your Foot Locker brands, uh, all those different cleaners. The, especially the suede cleaning when it comes to suede fat. They use household products like dishwashing liquid. Awesome, you can find at your local stores, Dollar Generals, a variety of different brushes. And basically that's that's what I use to keep my shoes clean. But I had all three Yeezys. I just recently sold the 10 Yeezys um, for a good little buck. I believe it was a good little buck. A lot of people said I shouldn't have sold them, but it is what it is. Um, the first Yeezy, I actually got those in Atlanta, we sat out in line for like 16 hours or so. It was crazy. At first, we wasn't even on the list. So the person who was running the list, we actually had to go up to him, kind of beg our way in on the list. And um, I actually ended up becoming number 19. I don't know how I did it, but I done it. And um, that was on the first, the great ones. The second one, I, I met a lot of good people out there too. Shout out to everybody who was out there. And, um, in Atlanta for that release. That was a real crazy release. The second one, the black and pink pair, I was number one and number two in the line in Memphis. I got a call from one of my boys in Atlanta saying they had them in Memphis at a certain store. So, and remind you, we lived three hours away from both locations. And so immediately I got off work. I took off work early and rushed straight up to Memphis to get the black and pink ones, man. And uh, we had people from all over, from Chicago, from St. Louis. Shout out to all them boys. Uh, we had people from Louisville, Kentucky out there at their release. That was a real nice release. That was probably um, one of the most anticipated shoes of 2009, I think it came out, 2009. And the colorways was ridiculous. The whole concept of the shoe, how the shoe came about, uh, and I just, I just love the shoe for real. I thought it was beyond anything that was out at the time, you know. Besides your retros and all that, so it was, it was just new design, and I just, I just love the shoe, man. Kanye, he put, he put a lot of work into that shoe, and I put a lot of time into getting that shoe. But uh, that's pretty much it, man. The Yeezys. So this right here. It's the most expensive shoe I ever bought. It cost me $250. I got this three weeks early before the release. That's one of my most favorite Spike Lee, man. You did this. You did this up, yo. I wish I had the first generation of this shoe. Uh, the white, the green.
green and the red. That was real special. But uh, yeah, this is the most expensive shoe I own right now. Well, I've been into this shoe game approximately hard and heavy for the past five years. I started around 2005 when I actually got my job where I'm working now to be able to afford it. And um, I've been going hard ever since. Lately, as of lately though, I've been kind of pulling back because the materials they got on these shoes is not as they as they were. Um, just the quality overall about these shoes is not not as it was back in the day. Like when I was in middle school and early high school, they had real high quality fabrics and materials on the shoes or whatnot. But um, Lately though, they, they haven't had too many shoes I like come out. Like like uh, all my YouTubers know, I buy shoes I like. People that I know in personal life know I buy shoes I like. I just, just don't go out there. I'm not no hype beast. Just go out there and get a shoe just because it's a limited release. They only got 500 pairs or something like that. I just buy shoes I like. And as of lately, I haven't seen nothing besides the Pearl Phone Posits that recently came out, I think it was last weekend. It was one of the, one of the latest pickups before then. I probably haven't bought a shoe since uh, beginning of July. And that's that's a long time for me when I'm usually buying shoes every other week, every week or so. They got the uh, Royal Blue Phone Posit ones coming out. I want those. The Flint 13s, a lot of people after those, I want those. Uh, the cool gray 11s, the playoff 13s. Um, I'm still hesitant whether I'm going to get the white and red 13s. For the pictures I've seen on the internet, the quality doesn't look doesn't look too good to me. But I heard on the 11s though, the quality's up to par. I might end up getting two pair of those. If it's bullshit, you want bullshit, they shot shell. Yeah, I'ma kick it off with them little heads and tails. Red lobster every day, shrimp heads and tails. And bad as niggas give me head and tail. And bad as niggas give me head and tail. See, I'm a head, but you stay the snail. I move, they see the back of my nights. Got to the end of the tunnel, and I was the light.